Borough Borough 3, Taunton Town 2. Uh, the Rob, Rob, the, uh, the, the unbeaten streak has unfortunately come to an end. I don't think in the way that most of us expected, being 2-0 up at half-time. Um, what, what did you make after 90 minutes? Uh, it's, it's very disappointing, um, but I don't think we can overanalyse things. At the end of the day, we've had a bad 45 minutes of football within uh, 18, 19 games, is it now? Mm, you know? yeah. um, so the lads have done absolutely magnificently. They underperformed for that second half, there's no doubt about it. And there's certain little things that we just didn't do the basics well enough. Um, we caused ourselves our own problems, there's no doubt about that. Um, and we didn't do the basics, like I said. We didn't head, kick, run, tackle. And uh, we didn't compete physically well enough for that for probably 25 minutes. And we caused ourselves our own problems, to be fair. Um, but we still had chances to get something, something out of the game come the end. But listen, you know, credit to them. It's, uh, we lost the game and we start again Tuesday, Tuesday night. Yeah. Was it just a case of inviting Harrow on in the second half and just allowing them to, uh, to attack? I mean, there's always a danger when you're 2-0 up at half time. That can happen. I don't really think so. I think the next goal was massive and we, and we didn't get it, you know, and it, mm. and it just lifts them and, you know, on a, on a difficult difficult surface, you know. But listen, credit to them. They they ran and they wanted it more, a little bit more than us for 25 minutes. Mm. And that, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. There's, we're not going to reinvent the ball or anything like, like that today. Um, we had to do the basics better. Simple as that. But at the death, we should have scored. Yeah. And uh, maybe, uh, I think, um, a, a few of the fans sometimes, I mean, I've chatted to a few just after the game, uh, maybe taking this one loss in 19 games a little bit too too harshly. I don't know. I, if... I don't think you can overanalyze. And I no, exactly. I think exactly. you've got to be sensible. And if somebody said to you back in the middle of November that you're only going to lose one game in 20 and, and by, by the start of March, you know, they'll be snapping your hands off. Yeah. Okay. So we've got to be realistic. We keep calm. They know what their their standards and levels. Uh, they're more disappointed than probably we are. To me, as a mm. management team, they're, yeah. they're absolutely gutted in there. You know, absolutely gutted. And listen, listen, you can tell by the way that they celebrated today. You know? We got a big bullseye on our back now. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. Which is what you want, and you're at the top end of the league, and that's what you expect, and that's what I want. You know, it's great. It's a compliment. I love it. So, but listen. That's the cells down. We go again. Simply got a good chance to put it right again on Tuesday, and, and we start another run. And, that, and that's what we need to do. Mm. And speaking of that game on Tuesday, home to Yate Town. What do you make of them? We played them away. Uh, we yeah, back at home. Yeah, very well organised. You know, great energy. You know, play a play a certain shape, which makes it quite difficult for you at times. But listen, we've had a good look at them a couple of weeks ago, and we have obviously played against them. So. We'll be ready for it and we, we'll, we'll see a reaction. That's what it is. It's all about mentality, last 10 games of the season, what goes on in between the six inches of space between their ears, and that's all it's about now. We don't, no doubt, talented to go on and achieve great things, you know, and we just go again. That's all you can do. It's all you can do. All right, thanks, Rob. See you Tuesday. Cheers, boys. Cheers.